Exchange Bethesda. Welcome back. I recently had a chance to visit DC's Woolly Mammoth Theater to check in on a new show that aims to bring laughter to a post-election America. It's called Black Side of the Moon and it stars six members of Chicago's Second City Improv Group. Now the actors also wrote the play and say if you suddenly feel like you're living on a different planet, then this is the show for you. And boy, do they have a good time doing it. I caught up with the cast to learn more and get in on the rehearsals. Take a look. All right, so this show is really funny. I feel honored to be with the cast right here on the set. I want to start with you, Dwayne, though. You guys are stand-up performers and sketch comedy performers. So how was that, writing this show and your personal experiences as an African-American in the U.S., bringing this show to life? Uh, I think because we all are writers in our own right that it allowed us to create nuanced work because there are so many different perspectives on blackness that it allows you to just be specific to your version of blackness which is so refreshing and something I have yet to experience outside of this show. This cast came from Chicago the night of the presidential election yeah. so I understand you rewrote the show to reflect the political landscape. Tell us about that. Yeah, I think like we, when we were spent the two weeks in Chicago writing the show, our initial thoughts, and I think most of the country was that, based on polls and everything on the news, was that Hillary was definitely going to win. So we had some jokes that kind of were funny in that uh, outcome. And then when we landed and that night we watched it, uh, the election results and we were horrified, uh, <laughs> we kind of went back and had to like re, like, look over the show because certain things that weren't like we had a joke uh where obama was like a secret muslim quote unquote and that wasn't funny in the new landscape so uh initially we kind of wrote it where we were we had too many trump references and we decided we didn't want the show to just be okay this is a show about now that trump is america or the president of america we wanted it to be I think like the show is kind of not a protest, but it's just like uh, we wanted black people, other people of color, women, whoever, to be able to come to this show and feel comfortable. It's a safe space. You see yourself reflected. You get to laugh and just forget about that. Wow. So you, you talk about being horrified the night yeah. of the election. And I'm just wondering, who is this show for? Would you invite Trump supporters to come, just like the Hillary Clinton and the Barack Obama supporters? Mm -hmm. Tell me, because all six of you are writers and actors in the show. Yeah. Give me your opinion. Um, I think the show's for everyone. Um, just because we are all black performers, that doesn't mean that this is just a black show for black people. It's important for people of all, you know, creeds and stuff like that to come mm -hmm. see the show and just hear our voices, but also like we speak for other people as well. And I think that's super important. And to know that like blackness is not just what is defined um, on TV, but also it is an experience and it's, you know, real life. So. All right, thank you. And without further ado, here's a sneak peek of a performance from the Black Side of the Moon. It's called We're Gonna Miss You, Barack. I started screaming, woo Trump looks like a Cheeto color demon. And I never, never, never thought I'd be feeling this way. We're gonna miss you, Barack. Baby, please don't go. We're gonna miss you, Barack. Barry, please don't go. You can't leave with Barack. Barry, please don't go. You can't leave with Barack. Barry, please don't go. Barack.
All right, the show is running from now until January 1st. And for tickets, head to www.woollymammoth.net. And 2016, it's about to come to an end.